Hi guys and welcome to Trinket Corner. Today I will show you how I made a D&D Mimic dice box. I start with a small chest that I purchased from local craft store. The lock on this thing was huge, so I removed it and replaced with a smaller lock. I use PVA for extra strength. We are going to add additional bump on top of the chest. I use PVA glue and air drying clay. I wet my fingers in water to smooth the surface. I create a small pocket and I place the eye. I use a Q-tip to soften the edges. I got this rolling pin with stone pavement texture that was perfect for a lizard skin texture. While the clay was still wet, I rolled the pin over it. As usual, I will put the links in the description box. I added more clay on the front to give it more texture. In some areas, I help myself with chopstick. The small stripe of cardboard will serve as upper lip. I glue on a little clay and give it more texture. Mm -hmm. 
Then I make teeth from clay and glue them on. It's very important to work in reverse. For example, the lower teeth will be glued on the upper lip. I make sure that it is still possible to open the lock while clay is still wet. Because I can't cover the lower part of the lock, I have to divide the lower lip into two parts. I again add texture and glue on teeth. If something goes wrong, you can always smooth it with water and try again. And now I glue upper teeth on the lower lip. I do this because later when it's dry and I actually want to use the chest and open it, I don't want the teeth to be on my way. Now it's time to make some claws. I take three wires, twist them a little bit, then I add the fourth. I bend the fourth wire in opposite direction. Cover everything with hot glue and wait for it to dry. I cut several chopsticks to look like claws and glue them on top of the fingers. I glue two in front and two in back. I started painting with generous amount of dark brown color. I covered everything in brown except for teeth.
Some of that brown paint still got on his teeth, so I had to scrape it off with X-Acto knife. Then I took a skin tone color and using airbrushing technique highlighted all of the texture. I also covered the teeth and claws. I added more brown. Then I took gold metallic and went over the edges. I didn't like the shade of the brown I used earlier, so I added one more layer of more red woodsy color. Because I'm not a professional and I used so many layers of paint, I actually lost some of the details I liked. That's why I use another layer of brown wash. This is basically a mixture of dark brown paint and a lot of water. Because it's watered, it will go inside all the nooks and crannies. I pour it generously, then I use a napkin to clean the excess. It looks rather dark right now, but it will get lighter as it dries. As a final step, I highlight the teeth again and the mimic is ready. I hope you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and push the notification bell.